How's it going guys, Real Radman here, back at it again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about NASCAR, and in particular, a team within NASCAR. Hendrick Motorsports, one of the powerhouses, one of the dominant teams in NASCAR. The house that Daryl Walsh, Terry Labonte, and especially Jeff Gordon did build, and Jimmy Johnson has been on top as well. Um, welcoming rookies like Chase Elliott, and also having drivers like Dale Earnhardt Jr., Mark Martin, Casey Kane, all these guys. They've had fantastic drivers around their career, as well as Kyle Busch earlier in his career. Um, and they were very dominant back in the day but that's why i'm saying that back in the day they were dominant why aren't they dominant now and i wanted to get into that a little bit and i wanted to start a discussion with you guys make sure you comment down below let me know what you think after i give my thoughts so let's just go through this season the 2016 season jimmy johnson has two wins chase elliott dale Earnhardt jr and casey kane have no wins jimmy looks pretty strong at the beginning of the year and he usually he he does go through a, a slow slump here in the summertime chase elliott has actually been doing pretty well for his rookie season having six top fives and 11 top tens both which is actually more than what jeff gordon had at this time of the season last year and he's eighth in points again higher than gordon at this time last year and for a rookie eighth in points is pretty pretty nice obviously he's not eighth in points under the chase format but that's for another discussion for another day jimmy johnson's ninth under the old format dale Earnhardt jr is 13th under the old format and casey kane is 17th in the points under the old format so you can see all hendrick drivers are kind of mediocre that's mediocre for them let's be honest they're supposed to be a dominant powerhouse supposed to be first or fourth or fifth in the standings and right now joe gibbs stuart haas and penske take up those spots and it's interesting because Stuart Haas does take their equipment from Hendrick Motorsports. They use the engine and chassis that Hendrick Motorsports does use and provide them. So I was just wondering what is going on. And if you guys think about maybe let's go to 2015. 2015 they struggled as well. Gordon did make the championship race, but Jimmy kind of struggled. Dale Earnhardt Jr. didn't really do much. Casey Kane's been nowhere for the past three years. We don't know where Casey Kane has been and they haven't been very dominant for the last two years. The last dominant year they really had was under one driver, and it was Jeff Gordon in 2014, when it looked like the 24 car was the fastest car in the field. But again, Jimmy just didn't have that kind of speed. Junior did not have that kind of speed. Casey Kane's been gone and just completely disappeared for a while now. 2013, Jimmy wins the championship, and he looks pretty, pretty good in that year. But what is going on with Hendrick Motorsports? Did they just lose some ground to Joe Gibbs and Penske? Because Joe Gibbs does have the most money in the sport right now, and they are using the most resources. Penske is definitely making a move, and have they've had great performance the last couple of years, so it looks like they're pre it's pretty good for them. Hendrick, it's always like, hey, it, they're in a little bit of a slump. It, they're going to get out of it. But really, how long is this slump going to last? Because it's been a while now. If you want to go to Hendrick Motorsports standards, which is domination and winning championships, it's been a while since they've done either one. A championship was 2013 for Jimmy Johnson, and dominating races I haven't seen since one car did it, which was Gordon, in 2014, but all cars doing it I haven't really seen since maybe 2013. It's been a while. So just wanted to ask you guys what do you think's going on do you think it's just a lack of resources which is hard to believe saying that hendrick motorsports has a lack of resources do you think maybe it's jimmy getting a little bit older and dale getting a little bit older and they're kind of settled and stuff and gordon's gone as well the house that hendrick Mo motorsports was built on was mostly by jeff gordon so do you think that's part of it what do you guys think about chase elliott because chase elliott's been doing a pretty good job so far and I'm kind of proud of him. I kind of kind of see where he is going, and Casey Kane, man. I do you guys think it's time to maybe find another driver and put a Casey Kane seat because he has gone nowhere the last couple of years, and some of his reasonings were because of the cars and how they would handled and a lot, a lot of downforce in them. But no matter what we do to the cars, take downforce away, or put downforce in the car. It looks like Casey Kane just can't get a grip on it, and it's kind of sad because he was supposed to be the next big deal. Even before Kyle Busch came around, it's supposed to be him and Kyle Busch really taking over the reins of the sport. And he's kind of faltered while Kyle, Kyle Busch has succeeded tremendously at Joe Gibbs Racing. And I believe if you put jo Kyle Busch in the Hendrick Motorsports car, I don't think he'd be performing as well as he is right now, Joe Gibbs, because Joe Gibbs just has those resources. And it's kind of sad to see that Hendrick is kind of struggling. Um, but you do see this shift in power that Joe Gibbs, Stuart Haas, and Penske is going over and dominating pretty much. And now Stuart Haas is leaving Hendrick Motorsports 
leaving their chassis and engines and going to Ford next year. So again, this is getting kind of bad for Hendrick. They don't really have any more allies. They're the only Chevrolet team that's really... Uh, the other Chevrolet team is RCR, but they don't have an alliance. So it's really Hendrick all by themselves. No more teamwork with Stuart Haas. So what do you guys think? Leave down in the comments below what's going on. I mean, it's it's been kind of crazy. The last two races, Hendrick Motorsports has not had a top 10. That's the first time that's happened since, since October 2011. And in the last three races, they haven't led a lap. None of the drivers have led a lap. That's the first time that has happened since October and November in 2001. Uh, thanks to Jeff Gluck for the stats there from USA Today. It's insane what, what's really been going on. They're struggling. They're struggling in, their, in a big slump. So guys, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. Hit that like button so I'll keep making some more discussion videos about NASCAR and F1. And yeah, guys, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.